tactical signals intelligence course uh, that we run here on, on Fort Huachuca is really aimed at providing uh, signals intelligence soldiers with the skills necessary to employ, deploy, and maintain the Army's program of record for tactical signals intelligence. So the Tactical Signals Intelligence Operator course provides familiarization on uh, the mounted, which is these map vs they're mine-resistant, ambush-protected, all-terrain vehicles, right? So we have these Army trucks. Uh, they understand how to operate the systems on the trucks, as well as satellite communications. And then we also provide training on the uh, man-portable uh, collection systems to uh, DF and intercept enemy communications. The target audience for the course are 35 series, 35 November, and 35 Papa, so signals intelligence analysts and operators. My whole career I've been a, a, what we call a, a strategic uh, SIGIN person. So strategic, we just sit down behind our computer most of the time, and I had no tactical knowledge. So for me to progress in my career, I need to move on to tactical and get that knowledge. So taking actually this course, tactical SIGIN, is it's essential for me to move on. They do day one in the classroom and then they understand we go over the signal characteristics. There's emulators out there that are transmitting to simulate the enemy. And then what we do with our systems is we, uh, we build a electronic order of battle or basically familiarize and provide situational awareness for the commander on what the enemy is doing. Basically remote direction finding of uh, an enemy. Um, just utilizing the equipment to hone in on um, any form of communication that they're using and be able to direction find them and basically find, fix, and finish the target. If we have three different points of view, then we can actually triangulate DF and uh, see where the, the signal is coming from. And that's how we operate. As we move forward to the multi-domain operations, uh, this knowledge is going to be vital for me to, to just move on and, and be, be able to have the same language as my peers. We try to move out in pseudo-tactical um, formation um, and we'll set up in different observation posts um, to get a better picture of the enemy instead of getting them from one, one angle, we're trying to get them from two, three different angles. The Army has a bigger emphasis on MDO um, and uh, large-scale combat operations, so we need to make sure that these soldiers have the skills necessary to operate in that environment that would be a little bit more of a contested environment than what we have been uh, used to with our counterinsurgency actions uh, within the last you know, couple decades. It's a two-week course. We wish we had them for longer but they have that two weeks on the systems and then they fall into that same, these same systems, these same trucks and the same man pack kits that you saw earlier. They fall in on those same exact systems and they already know how to use them. And then they can teach their, uh, their battle buddies uh, on the system. So I think it's a win across the army.